Okay, it's time to make these Warp 9 Supermoto wheels tubeless. Let's go for a ride. Oh, oh. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today okay this is my first time doing this so i hope i'm doing everything right and i hope it works out okay if not worst case scenario is that i end up with a slow leak and i just have to use tubes so it's not that big of a deal but anyways what i'll be using today here is the 3m extreme tape the 3M Marine adhesive sealant, wire brush, 80 grit sandpaper, 99% pure isopropyl alcohol, uh, brake cleaner, shop tiles. And by the way, I'll include links to all these items in the description and comment section of this video. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna spray the brake cleaner over the surface here. And then I'm going to take the wire brush and get all up here in the spokes, try to get any dirt out or whatnot. Then I'm going to spray the brake cleaner over it again, take the 80 grit sandpaper, and then I'm going to roughen up the surface where I'm going to be putting the tape. Then I'm going to take the alcohol and then I'm going to, you know, wipe down the surface with the shop towel with the alcohol. And then once that dries, then I'll go ahead and take this 3M adhesive sealant and I'll put it in between the cracks there and on top of the spoke just checking to make sure there's no holes in there at all make sure it's fully sealed but uh, each one looks okay okay I'll let this uh, let this dry overnight what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the electrical tape because it is gonna overlap and I don't want it to stick so I'm gonna take the electrical tape on the parts where I don't want it to stick to then I will take the sealing tape here, the 3M sealing tape, and I'll go over all the spokes here and take my time, make sure I don't get any air bubbles the best I can. And then go ahead and peel the backing off. And then use an X-Acto knife to cut off the excess on both sides and then pull up the tape on both sides. Okay, now to do the valve stem. See, there's the hole right there. We're gonna take the scalpel and open that up. Careful just to get it on the edge. There we go. Okay, now I will insert the valve stem and make sure it's positioned correctly. Okay, we're gonna put some sealing around there. Okay, now I will install the valve stem bolt and tighten it to spec. This is about as good as I'm gonna get it. I have the valve stem on there. I've got that sealant around there. See the valve stem there? Makes it that 85 degree, makes it easy to put air in the tire. And there's some air bubbles in here, but they're trapped. I'm not gonna go around and pop all of them and, and patch it up. So it should be good anyhow, because you know each spoke is sealed. You know, at the, the tip of the spoke is sealed. 100% with that sealant. So this is really just like an added layer of security, the tape. Some people just use the sealant only. And uh, so now I need to go ahead and do the rear tire. Okay, the rear wheel is done now. I'm going to let the wheels cure overnight for like, you know, 24 hours before I mount the Shinko 705s on there. I'll do that in a separate video and mount them on the YZ450FX. Like I said, stay tuned for those of you guys uh, that asked me if I have a cush drive on the rear wheel. Yes, I have a cush drive. Better safe than sorry. And by the way, these are black spokes and everything else is blue. Look at that. Absolutely sick looking. Can't wait to get them on the bike. Uh, yes, the WR250R is here. I know you looked up there. You're like, man, look, the WR250R is back, dude. Yes, it's back, baby. Better than ever, baby. Brand new transmission. New counter sprocket, yeah, baby. And I'll tell you guys, like I said, I learned my lesson. I'm sticking with OEM front sprockets from here on out, man. With the YZ, OEM front sprocket, baby. Yeah, I'll change up the rear sprocket with an aftermarket one, but I'm not messing with the front sprocket. No siree, I'm not. That's a thousand dollars of damage that I, that happened to this bike in a month, over a month down, man. So, but anyways, 
I have a bunch of stuff um, to do to the YZ450FX. I've got uh, a lot of you guys asked me about that Task Racing headlight. It was coming, it did come. Uh, shout out to Task Racing, amazing company, make amazing lights. The those were it was 8,000 lumens though. Those two lights, it was too much, too too bright for street use, and I didn't want to blind drivers or get a ticket, you know, from the cops for riding with something like that. Uh, but for off road, man, that thing will light up the forest. It's amazing. I recommend it. But I decided to go with the Baja Designs LED light, 2200 lumens, which should be adequate for street. And it has the, the blue housing, which will mass, match the plastics. I think it'll make the bike look amazing. Uh, by the way, I'm getting rid of the, I'm not getting rid of, but I'm gonna take off the white plastics. I have some of the uh, some blue plastics to replace that. Um, I think that'll make it look better. I sent back that other exhaust that I had, the FMF. 4.1 RCT. I decided to step it up to the the same exhaust, but in in titanium in the blue. So it's about a pound and a half or two pounds lighter. I'll weigh it when it comes. That'll be here shortly, and so I got to put that on the bike. I've got uh, got a new battery anti uh, the what you call it anti gravity battery a uh, restart battery which. I did a video on this way back. It's on, I have one on my WR250R. Thing is amazing. It, it keeps the, uh, you never have to worry about being stranded because of a dead battery. It, if it, it'll shut down, if it's it get a, gets a certain point where it's really low, but it'll leave just enough juice so you can restart your bike. And what I love about this is this has a lot more capacity. It's got seven amp hours versus the 2.5 amp hours on the YZ. Definitely, I recommend this battery, guys. Like I said, link in the description and comment section of the video if you wanna get this. Uh, I've gotta put on, when I put the wheels on, I'm putting this uh, this vapor, which you call it, Trail Tech Vapor Speedometer uh, computer here that has RPMs, it tells the temperature of the bike, uh, it keeps up with the hours, maintenance, everything. It's got a bunch of stuff on there, man. Uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube have this. Absolutely, it should be sick on the bike. We'll see. I've got a couple of uh, chains here. I got a gold one that's going to be for the supermoto setup for the 44 tooth rear sprocket and 13 front. And this is uh, have a black chain for dirt which I'm keeping the same OEM 50 in the rear and then, uh, of course, 13 in the front. High pressure radiator cap I got here. Thanks to you guys for commenting and recommending that. That actually helped lower the temperature by 25 degrees on the bike. That paired with the, the fan kit that's on the bike there should keep this bike cool when I'm doing a uh, street ride in an urban fookery like I do with my WI250i, but we're gonna be doing sumo style. Also, I got a new tor a digital torque wrench, which is fairly inexpensive, 100 bucks, man. I'll include the link to this also in the description and comment section of this video. I will do a future video on it when I use it, but it got good reviews and I look forward to using that. It's got a buzzer on there when it hits the torque setting. Like I said, putting on the tires on the rims and I'll be using this stand. This is a, uh, a balancing stand here. If you want to get one of these, like I said, description uh, link in the description and comment section of this video along with the tire changer, which I've used. I didn't get a chance to do a review on it, but that thing was awesome. When I put on the, uh, I put on those tires, those D606 tires on the WR250R, man, that was awesome. It was easy. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be, man. So if you want to pick up that, that stand to do your own wheels and, uh, and a balance stand, and I have some weights too. Check it out. I've got all the weights here, um, wheel weights there. So. No more paying for, for uh, tire changes for me anymore, Jack. <laughs> that saves a lot of money, man. It's, it's nice being able to do your, do your own tires. Like I said, links to everything in the description and comment section of this video. But anyways, stay tuned for the, the future build videos for the YZ. But for those of you guys that always ask me about my motorcycle gear, my camo pants, my boots, leather jackets, gloves, helmets, uh, all my stuff, cameras, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear. Those are a bunch of links to all my stuff. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,200 plus videos categorized in the various playlists 
to make it easier for you to navigate through to hopefully find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up, share this video, comment, really helps my, my videos, my channel helps me get motivated to do more videos. I love talking with you guys. Appreciate all you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel. Book out Moto! It showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything. Bug out Moto! As a courtesy, I included two video playlists. One for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.